OK, so I'm going to make a classic French dessert now. Couldn't come here and not do it. Tartatan, invented by the Tatan sisters. Great local cooks from about 100 miles away from here in the late 18th century. And there's a few stories about how it came to be, but the long and short of it is, one day, one of the sisters was overworked, stressed. She was caramelising some apples, and apparently it was burning. So she put some pastry on top of it whacked it in the oven to finish cooking, turned it out, served it. The whole thing was a great, great success. And that was the birth of the tartartan. And the exciting thing is, probably half the mistakes ever made in the kitchen are successes. First of all, get yourself some really nice eating apples. We've got five apples here. Remove the core. Then what I want is 100 grams of sugar. And then you want about 100 millilitres of Calvados. Heat that up in a pan. I quite like the idea of using some vanilla. Let's run the knife down the middle of the vanilla pod. There we go. Already, the vanilla and the Calvados smells good. I'm just going to put the apples in now, and then also a good knob of butter. And that's obviously going to turn the straight caramel almost into a sort of butterscotch toffee-like consistency. Never, ever touch caramel because it's really, really hot. Apples and caramel, you know, toffee apples, it's one of the nicest things in the world. But I don't really want you just to stop at that. Pears, peaches, apricots, and you can really use your imagination. And puff pastry. Everyone over here in France uses these packs that you get and it's all pre-rolled out perfectly. Can you believe that? Probably for tartartan. So um, this you can actually get back home as well. It's really good. Puff pastry is obviously the, you know, the milfoil, the many, many layers of pastry and, and butter. So when it cooks, it's going to expand like that right over the top and then almost tuck it in very quickly. Like you're tucking your little bambino in bed. And then that is going to be beautiful. I'm going to cook that for around 20 to 25 minutes at around about 190 degrees Celsius, 350, 360 Fahrenheit. And when that's cooked, it will be crisp and golden. You see what that's going to look like. It's going to be great. Look at that. OK, so this has had about 20 minutes. And when you take it out of the oven, you pretty much carefully and quickly got to turn it out because when that caramel sets hard, it will be like glue. The best way to do it is to put your plate over and just confidently, all in one, one, two, three, and there you go. OK, so to serve this, what I want to do is get some ice cream, put it in the fridge, let it get to kind of like a scoopable texture, get some armagnac, some hot water and some prunes, boil it up and puree it, right? And then just ripple that together. Just made this beautiful prune armagnac ice cream. Look at that. Armagnac and prunes are massive in this area. It's a big classic. I love the way it kind of goes down all the little gullies. Straight through. There we go. Take it off. So hats off to the Tartan sisters for that brilliant mistake they made over 100 years ago.